Right, so welcome to blocks. We are going to go ahead and try to understand as much as possible how you can build your blocks. So the first thing is we want to click on blocks right there and then we want to click on the top right button, create. Now here you need to give it a name. Let's go ahead and give it like a test name, okay? Then you want to select your domain. In my case, I'm gonna select this one here. And right after that, you want to choose the path for your blog. So let's go ahead and tutorials, for example. Now here you have a lot of different blog uh, previews. Uh, you can create your own, but I would really, really recommend you to simplify it and just build one uh, you know, from these templates. Understand those templates, see how they are built and then build from there because it's gonna make it so much easier. As far as what I recommend, this one here is really, really good as it's organized by categories. This one here, really cool as well. It's also organized by categories and all that stuff, but it is very organized here with all these different things, okay? So this one or the other one are the ones that I usually recommend, but you can, you're free to select whichever you prefer. So in this case, let's go ahead and select this one here. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now we just created right now the structure for our blog and your plan doesn't allow you to create more blogs. All right, so because I already have one. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this one. Let's create one, test, tutorials, and select this one here and let's go, okay? So now we are creating the structure for the blogs. Let's go ahead and hit test. Before I do, on the right side we have view, you can see exactly how your blog looks like, which looks like this. Then you have your duplicate, if you want to duplicate it, you can share with someone so they can add it to their account. You can you know, change the settings whenever you, you like, and then you can remove it if you want to. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and, 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 and open. Now here we have posts, pages, and categories. So basically, how you are gonna th think of creating your blog is gonna be first categories, then the pages that's gonna add in the blog, and then the posts that I wanna create, okay? So pages are gonna be for what are you going to choose, you know, to show on your blog. The category is gonna be the topics that you're gonna talk about in that blog. And the posts are gonna be the specific posts within the categories, okay? So let me go ahead and review and give you a quick example because this is really important as it is gonna be the foundation, okay? so. Let's go ahead and view blog. Now here we have these pages, home. So let me highlight this for you. We have home, articles, contact, and about. So these are the pages that we have inside the blog. Then we have the categories right here and we have the posts, okay? So it's important that you understand how this is built because ideally you want to structureize before you build it so that you don't need to always be rebuilding it, okay? So, categories. What topics are you going to talk about? Go ahead, create, and give it a name. So the name, let's say, funnel design. Now the path, you can adjust whatever you please. The description, it's optional here as well. Learn all the design fundamentals. The SEO title, if you want to do SEO, and SEO description, if you want to do that as well, okay? So let's go ahead and hit save. So now you already have a category called funnel design um, and you have zero blocks. On the right side, you have settings or remove. You don't really have a lot of stuff here, you, only if you want to adjust it and remove it. So the categories are here. If you want to talk about funnel copy, funnel copy, exact same thing and go ahead and save it. Okay, so these are the topics that you're gonna organize your work so that your users can go ahead and understand uh, based on the topics. Then the pages is what your blog is gonna be built about. We have the home page, the post list page, contact page, and about page. You can go ahead and create specific pages as well if you want to do it. So just testing it out, it works very, very similarly. And now here you can go ahead and edit the page. So now here, this is the layout that you use for that page, okay? So you can go ahead and remove and add stuff, you know? You have specific blog elements, which I really, really invite you to really play around with those and try to see what they mean because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to truly understand. Most of these, you already know what they are. These blog are gonna be specific ones for latest blogs, blog post listing. So if you're gonna go ahead 
and edit there. You have your listing here, okay? And then here you can have the layout, so you can choose this one if you like to, you know? So you have all these different things, the alignment of the text, so it really allows you to customize heavily, okay? So you can also choose for which category you're gonna go for, if category two, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you can go ahead and implement it, okay? And this is one of the reasons why I really recommend setting the structure as you already have in the template and stick to it. Because if you are going to, you know, really customize everything, what's gonna happen is you are going to enter in a loophole where, where basically every single adjustment, you're gonna to need to do another one and another one and another one. And then afterwards you spend so many hours trying just to perfect the structure uh, where in fact the blog needs to be just a place where you are working on your blog posts, okay? Now the next thing is gonna be the post lead page. There you go, so you have this post lead page. Usually you just connect to the, the top section and the bottom section um, and you know, just add the post listing here, right here. You know, you can adjust how they show and all that stuff. Okay, really, really simple. The next thing, it's gonna be, so leave, okay, cool. The, all the other pages, if you want to change the other pages, you can change the other pages. So for example, this is the contact page. There's no blog post here. It's just really just the structure that you want to use. These fields for the contact. If you want to do this, you, you can do it. Now the top section, and the bottom section, you are not gonna be able to edit those, okay? So, restructuring, homepage. No, homepage, you have the, sta the statics here and you have everything that is shown in the center, but you cannot edit all that stuff. And same thing for all the other pages as well, okay? So if you want to change your, um, let me just go ahead and back. If you want to change your blog layout, you can then go ahead and change your blog layout. So here you can go ahead and add and change the footer and the header. Everything here, you don't really have anything to do because it's gonna be the log content, okay? So really, really simple how to structure it. Now, after you have the pages in the categories and your blog layout, then you're gonna need your posts. So this is exactly what you do. So you're gonna go ahead and create. So here, it's gonna be design, funnel design, solid description, learn, funnel design, and then you can choose an image, which you should choose an image. Um, you select the category that's gonna be in, so funnel design right here. Let me choose an image real quick. There you go, there's a placeholder, and then you go ahead and save. So now you have a new post. On the right side, you have view, edit, schedule, activate, settings, and all that stuff. So if you want to view, this is exactly what you're gonna see, um, the final post. So there's not a lot of stuff here, there's just the structure of, of the post, um, and then, nothing else because I didn't edit. Then we have the edit. So now here is where you can go ahead and drag and drop your files and elements to talk about the whatever you want to talk about. So here you want to align it. Learning how to design is awesome. Okay. And then you go ahead and bullet points, a link here, link there, you know, and then you go ahead and use the text. If you want to do overall, you can go ahead and do overall. There you go. Here it is, okay? So then you have your post right here, you just select it and then you save changes and you can add all kinds of things. You can add table of contacts if you want to, you can add all these different you know, images, videos, audios, carousel, everything, okay? But everything else, you can really adjust them. It's just anything inside this, um, this space. So let's just save and remove, okay? So now if you go ahead and then go ahead and activate it. So before we do this, let me just share with you the schedule. So you can click schedule and then select the time and then it's going to be activated on that schedule. Okay, but right now I don't want to do this. I just want to activate it right ahead. There you go. Boom, it's updated, it's right there. So if you go ahead and view, now you're gonna see how it is, right? There's a typo there, but it doesn't really matter. So this is the blog post that people are gonna go ahead and see and then they, go, they can go back and they click on funnel design and also this is a category, they can go to the blog and try to see exactly what it is, et cetera, and all the different things. You have the latest post here, which you can go ahead and click funnel design and voila, okay? They, they all have these different things, okay? Now, everything else, it's just really standard, nothing, you know, too excessive uh, to, to adjust. So building a blog, it's really a matter of understanding the structure, 
So understanding that you have your blog layout that you can customize, but make it very, very simple so that, you know, um, you don't go in a spiral, a never ending spiral of always adjusting and updating. Then it's about having your, your post layouts, building your categories, the topics you're going to talk about, the pages that you're going to have standard for your entire blog, and then just crafting the, the posts, um, making sure that you select by category so that your users can really identify those. Okay, so it's very, very simple. It does take a little bit long, uh, a, a little while to get used to it. But once you do, you are in a very good place. And, you know, everything looks pretty, pretty cool. People can go there, they can click there, and then they can understand the blog. You have links, you have testimonials if you like to. And then they are in your safe place. Go ahead, train it, and enjoy it.